Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. Today's video is, you've probably guessed by the title, a Primark haul. Honestly, they have been like buses. I didn't do one for over a year, I don't think. And then I've basically done one a month this whole year. <laughs> um, but they have had such beautiful pieces in. I've been so impressed, as I've said in previous videos. And over the last month or so, I've been picking up a few bits. This is an all from one video. So this is quite a huge Primark haul. And I've been to a few different Primarks, including the Tottenham Court Road one, which is a really good one. Um, so yeah, I just really wanted to show you everything I got. Um, obviously tell you the prices and stuff, and then I'll do cutaways so you can see what they look like on. But there are some absolutely gorgeous bits in stock at the moment as we are now in spring summer. So I won't ramble on for too long because I have got a lot to get through today. I feel like this is going to be quite a long video. So please do get cosy, grab a cup of tea or your favourite drink and some snacks <laughs> and um yeah enjoy first of all i want to quickly thank today's video sponsor hello fresh as you guys know we've used hello fresh for many years and absolutely love them so i just wanted to show you this week's recipe box what we have for dinner tonight and also um give you this discount code that hello fresh have given me as well so our hello fresh box for the week has just arrived i usually order three meals for four people this week we have gone for the sesame chicken schnitzel and fries. We've got the sambal teriyaki chicken stir fry, the loaded chipotle pulled chicken rice bowl. So the thing I love about HelloFresh, I know I always talk about this, but it's just the flavors. Everything is pre-proportioned. So they give you like the spices or the seasoning and everything just ends up tasting so, so good. And obviously you don't waste anything because like I said, it's all pre-proportioned. And because there's so many different meals to choose from each week, I know I can pick stuff that all of us as a family will like. So I don't think I've ever had a HelloFresh meal that I didn't like and they always go down well with the kids as well. You can choose what you want. So family meals, quick meals, um, vegetarian meals, whatever kind of suits your family and your lifestyle. So as we're getting into obviously spring and summer now, I'm really like craving salads and nice healthy things. So you can choose whatever you want to fit with the season or um, yeah, just what you're, what you're fancying that week. Everything honestly tastes so good. So I'm gonna pop a little QR code up here for you. And guys, I honestly think this is the best offer HelloFresh have ever given me. So code KATEM60HF, which I'll put on the screen here, is gonna get you 60% off your first month, then 20% off your next two months and free desserts for life, which who doesn't want free desserts for life? And that is valid for new customers and customers who haven't used HelloFresh in 12 months or more. So even if you've used it before, but it's been a while, you can come back and still get that offer. So please do take advantage of this. I, like I said, that's like the best offer they've ever given me. And I'll obviously link everything in the description box for you as well. Okay, let's get into the video. So this is gonna come out in a really random order, but hopefully you guys don't mind. So first of all, I have seen some beautiful um, crochet style dresses in store. I got this one recently in the Tottenham Court Road um, store. This is a really gorgeous long like um, maxi dress, really lovely cream colour. It's got the black detailing on the top. This was £21. Um, it doesn't have adjustable straps, so I'll see how this goes on me. I might have to end up like tying the back if they're a little bit too long, but hopefully it will be fine. As it's crochet, it does look like it's obviously a bit see-through in places because that's just the nature of crochet. So it may work better as like a beach cover-up with a bikini under it, or you could wear like a nude coloured slip underneath it, which I'm sure would work as well. Similar to that, I picked up this little top, which is quite small in terms of, I wish it was slightly longer. It looks more like a bra, but it would look really pretty with high-waisted shorts, I think, again, on holiday. I don't even have a summer holiday abroad planned yet. <laughs> so I don't know where I think I'm wearing all this stuff. But, I mean, I know lots of you guys will have holidays planned. So hopefully you can get some inspiration. And hopefully I do get to wear them somewhere. Actually, I do have a holiday planned with my friends. But it's... Yeah, not a family one yet, but hopefully. So anyway, I can wear some of this stuff. I'll have to have about 10 outfit changes in a day, but um, I'll make it work. This one was only nine pounds, which I thought was really good. It's really, really gorgeous. I love how it's sort of um, bunched around 
this centerpiece so it ruches it's really pretty and obviously i went crazy with the crochet because they do have a lot of bits in at the moment this one i thought was absolutely lovely again it's like a little square neck um top which i can see looking nice with linen shorts or um denim shorts i'm hoping this one will be all right with a little bra underneath it or something um this was 13 pounds so yeah, I got this in a size 10 to 12, so I'm not sure if I've picked up the right size for me. Then I went for a little knit. Oh, actually, I wanted to show you the one I've got on as well. I'll show you this straight after. Um, so they do have some really pretty lightweight knits in at the moment. This is a little lemon one, because I don't have any yellow, um, like pastel -y yellow jumpers or anything. So I thought I'd grab one. They did have a really nice pink, which... I kind of regret not getting that one instead because I do think that a brighter pop of pink suits me a little bit more than a lemon. I don't know if that's maybe looks a bit washed out on me. I've never done one of those colour analysis things but I wish I could because I'd love to know. Um, but anyway, I just loved the colour. It's like a pointel style knit. Really nice and thin so good for the weather that we're currently having when you do just need something a bit warmer on. So this one was £13 but they have, like I said, a really gorgeous pink as well. And then I picked up this one. So they have some really great little basics in there at the moment, some of which I'm gonna show you in a second. Some of these sort of like vest racer style vests are great. Um, this one's actually quite long compared to a lot of the ones they have, but I thought it was really nice because it's khaki. They're a very thick material, like really good quality. So these are nine pounds. And yeah, I just think I'd get a lot, of wear, a lot of wear out of that. It's a really good basic layering piece. While I'm there, I will show you some other similar basics that I picked up. So first of all, I got three of these. Now these ones are, I don't know if they've got a name. Oh, it just says built-in bra. These ones are great because, as the name suggests, it has like, I don't know how well you can see that, but it has this padding section in it, so you don't have to wear a bra with it, you don't have to worry about it like coming out the sides. Um, these are great, and obviously they're not see-through because they have quite a thick bit of padding in them. They're perfect. They're eight pounds. You can get super similar ones in Uniqlo, which I love as well. I got um, a khaki one last year and wore it so much, and they're about 20 pounds. So I'll have to compare the quality and how they wash and stuff. Uniqlo obviously do lots of different colors as well, um, but I thought I would get it in this color, which is tan, like a beige stone color, um, obviously black, and white as well although this one oh no i've done that thing where you think you've got your size but i've got it 2xs which probably is going to be too small um that's annoying because it says extra small there but the other ones are okay so i'll report back on those but i'm quite excited because these are just such great basics i would literally wear these all summer um then i picked up this one I've got this in pink, pal pink, and I love it. So it's probably in the last haul or the one before. I wear it a lot. It's a really nice, um, because it's cropped, it's not something that you have to like tuck into your trousers or jeans and it doesn't look bulky. Um, but again, it's that lovely thick, all of these are this lovely thick ribbed material. This was eight pounds as well. So you've got the little sleeves on this one. And I feel the mint color was really pretty. Can't remember what other colors they do it in. They've probably got like the black, the white, stuff like that. But I love my spring colors as well as my neutrals. So got the mint. But then I saw this one, which is, I guess the same as that khaki one I showed first in that same like longer style. And I just really loved the contrasting cream um, trim around this. I thought that just looked quite classy, I suppose. Um, this one doesn't seem to have a tag, but I would assume it was around whatever price this one was. Was it nine? Yeah, nine pounds. So it's probably nine or nine or ten, I'd say that one was. Then I got these, um, excuse the creases, because they have been in the bag, I've been waiting to show you. I still haven't shown you this jumper, I'll show you this in a sec. Um, I really love their tailored pieces, their um, blazers, their trousers, and when I saw these, I just fell in love with the colour. This is one of my favourite colours, I'd say it's like a sagey green, well it just says green on the label, but you know, it's sagey green. They look like they're nice, a nice length, um, fairly wide on the bottom, which is the sort of style that I'm into at the minute. So I, I don't know, obviously I'll try them on, but I think 
I'm hoping they'll look really nice. They were £14. I believe they do a blazer in this as well. Um, I didn't get that. I've got loads of blazers and I just... I don't know. I'm not sure I'll wear the full set of this colour. Maybe that's a mistake, but... I got these anyway so i'm excited to try those on so i got this which is so so pretty i'll show it in a cutaway styled up a bit obviously it seems a bit of a weird twist to go for as we're hopefully going into summer um but it's like another crochet it's quite thick really really pretty i'm pretty sure they did it in um a long maxi dress as well which i wish i'd got and when i went back into a couple of stores recently i've not seen the dress version but if you do see it, it is absolutely beautiful um yeah i just loved all the colors in this i think this would actually look cute with these because it's got like that green in it but it's also got the pink and the blue the the sleeves are quite wide it gives me sort of i don't know like boho -y festival vibes in my i think first primark haul of the year the january one you may have seen i picked up the really gorgeous pink suit that they had they do the pal pink um, blazer trousers sculpt and waistcoat i didn't get the trou oh did i get the trousers in the end i think i got it all because i just loved the color um anyway they've brought it out in a few other colorways now but one of them is white they've got this sort of like bridal section that they've just got in and they got the same style blazer um sorry waistcoat and then the the school the blazer everything that goes with it but again i've just been looking for a white or cream little waistcoat like this to wear with those green trousers or linen trousers or jeans i don't i don't think i'll wear the full pure white look like the school i don't know i just don't see me ever wearing it but it was really cute so this one is 12 pounds i'm hoping i'll like it because um I really love the pink one, but I think this was the only size they had. It might be a little bit big for me, but I'm hoping I can make it work. I also got this dress, which is kind of like a knitted dress. It's a nice thick quality. It's maxi length. Um, it was £17. It is really hard for you to see the gist of it when I'm just holding it up. Um, so hopefully in the cutaways, I'll be able to show you a little bit a little bit better, but it looks really nice. It's just got like a simple round neck, would look really nice with some straw accessories or with a pop of color. Um, it's just really nice, looks really like chic. So I picked that up. Then I will go on to some accessories. I've got some more clothes to show you, but just because I've got them here, I will show you. So I've picked up two pairs of these ballet flats. The prices are off of both, which is so annoying. If Again, if I can find them, I'll put them in the description. I'll also link anything I can still find on the Primark website under Click and Collect, because you can click and collect stuff now. And some of this stuff I did my first ever Click and Collect order with, and it was really good. So, um, yeah, if I can find anything on their website, I'll link it below. But obviously, you can't order and have it delivered. That's the only annoying thing. So, these are from the Rita Aura collection, and they're really, really lovely. I've worn these out already, and I have to say, I absolutely love them. I've tried a few, like, ballet pump style shoes, and they looked a bit weird, but I don't know if it's because of this, the tapered section on the toe, but these are really, really nice, and I love that they actually look legit, like, with the elastic here. Um, the only downside is you cannot wear these out when it's wet. They will get completely wrecked. Um, but they're really beautiful. I love feeling like a ballerina. And they kind of look like point ballet shoes, don't they? Um, and then just for the lulls, I went for the navy pair as well. I haven't actually worn these out yet. So I'm not sure as much what I think about them. But I think it just gives a little bit of a edgier look to a ballet flat. I don't know. Maybe they won't look great at me, but we'll try them. And then I picked up these. Again, I don't have the price on them. I don't know what I've done with everything. These aren't very expensive. I think they're like seven or eight pounds. Of course, they're like little Birkenstock dupes. Um, and I really want to get the Birkenstock, what the real ones. Um, but I've never actually had a proper pair before, I don't think. So I thought I would try these ones out, see what I think. I really love the tan colour of these. And then if I like them, maybe I'll invest in like an actual pair of Birkenstocks but I just thought they would go with a lot of things. I actually picked up some makeup brushes because I really needed some new ones. I got a small foundation brush which I'm already using. Um, this is the, well it also says foundation brush um, but it's larger and that one is £1.50. Hopefully you can see that okay. Is it focusing? 
Um, they're really good. I really, really like them. I got a body bronzing brush because obviously when I'm doing my fake tan, sorry, the light's glaring. Hopefully you can see that. When I'm doing my fake tan, sometimes I am very bad or I try not to be bad, but it just doesn't work when I'm blending like on my hands and my wrists and my elbows and stuff. So I thought I would try um, like a brush to kind of like finish off those sorts of areas to see if that helped blend a little bit better. So yeah, this, I don't know if this is what it's, oh yeah, used to apply any self tan product for a flawless even finish. There you go, it's actually for that. Um, and then I also got a concealer and foundation brush. This one is double ended. Um, oh, it's not focusing. There we go and that was two pounds so again I, I thought that would be very handy to have a new one i also picked up a couple of key rings i'm so bad i've lost so many key rings and i needed a new one so i don't know why i got two i didn't need to but i really loved them both they're both three pounds <laughs> i got this one which is a little pearl k and this one which is a little floral K with a pearl. So I guess I can just pop them both on and have that as my key ring with my keys on. Um, yeah, they were three pounds, they're really cute. So I grabbed those while I saw them. And again, like I said, this was on a few different trips, but I've also picked up a few bags. This straw one, I thought you can't really go wrong with that. That's gonna just go with so many different things. This was 10 pounds, additional long handle inside. Um, but it's got this nice short strap as well. So I picked up that. I know they've got this exact same one in green, which was lovely, but I just thought I would use this more. It'll go with more outfits. Even the green one would have gone really nice with those trousers. I also picked up this pack, which was a little bit random, but I just thought it was so pretty. Um, it's all completely beaded. Like that just doesn't look like Primark, does it? It was quite expensive. The tags come off. I feel like it was maybe about 18 pounds, I wanna say. Um, but obviously there's a lot of work that's gone into it. I just thought this would be a really cute occasion occasion bag. There's no like long strap or anything, but I think you that would be the kind of little bag you would hold. It would be really nice if you were wearing a similar colour to as a wedding guest. So that could go with your outfit and look really pretty. Or if you're just going somewhere special, maybe even on holiday. So what the tag thing on bit. Yeah, I absolutely love that. And they have it in like a pearly or a... A white iridescent as well which is lovely it could be really nice for like a hen do and then I also saw this sunglasses case so this is another really nice one although it's got a bit of thing hanging off let's cut that off um yeah this is straw as well again I know I keep saying it but it'd be really nice for a holiday oh it comes with the little cleaning cloth that's cute that comes inside obviously you just pop your sunglasses in there um, and it was £3.50 and what I liked about this is it comes with this little carabiner clip so you could clip that onto the side of your bag um, like your beach bag or something handbag and then you've just got your glasses really accessible and really easy to grab I think they also do this in other colours um, I also grabbed these large scrunchies um, I just those of you that have been following me for a long time know I have an issue with things when it comes in lots of pretty colours, I just have to have them all like a collection. It's really bad. Um, but I just thought these were cute. I love satin satin scrunchies. Even if I just wear them when I'm doing my hair or at home, I don't know how I'd style them. They're really cute. They're four pounds each. So they're really quite large. So you get the sage, pale pink, and uh, like a champagne cream. So they're really lovely. I did grab this bag because I thought it would go with those little denim pump so I mean it's meant to it's also from the Rita Ora collection this bag is £12 and um it's just like a really cool structured denim bag which I've never had anything like that so I thought I'd get that they also do one in a uh, satin pink but I feel like it's slightly different to the ballet flats maybe I'm wrong but I, I did try and control myself a little bit and I didn't get that one because I have some pink bags but I don't have a denim bag Then I picked up some dresses from the Rita Ora collection now I know it's been out for a little while now um, but I am still seeing it available in stores so hopefully you can still grab all of these bits but I picked up the floral satin dress. I haven't tried these on yet, so I don't know what they're gonna look like on me. This one is like a mini length, but it's um, asymmetric. It's very 
2010s in the style like it's a little bit of a I can't remember the like handkerchief style dress maybe that's not right but um it's got adjustable straps anyway it's got very night dress vibes but that's kind of in at the minute I, I think <laughs> so I got that one and then oh sorry that one is 16 pounds and the top version is 12 pounds so that could look really cute with uh, high-waisted jeans but that just is so 2010s to me that reminds me of like pop stars in the in the noughties doing like photo shoots and stuff you know like when they're going to an event they would have like a top on like that it's so funny how it's all come back round it makes me feel super old but excited at the same time then I'm not sure if I'm going to keep all these dresses by the way I just wanted to try them on and show you guys um because I know this is excessive but yeah I grabbed um some of the Rita Ora dresses because I thought they would up, be absolutely beautiful for a few weddings that I've got coming up if I do keep them. Um, God, how does this one even go? Oh my goodness, I'm not showing this very well. I think that's one of the straps and that's another. <laughs> um, and it's very long. It's like a maxi length. It's got all bits coming off it. It's very drapey. It's kind of crazy to be honest, but really cool. I do like it. I'll see what I think when I try it on you'll see it around here or here um and i'll give you a little thumbs up or down i suppose but this one is 25 pounds so it's a beautiful color as well i also got it in the blue this one feels different feels like it's a different fabric but the exact same no it isn't the same style i'm sure it's a bit different um this one is also 25 when i try it on it will probably become clear but they're kind of um, there's a lot of material to them all over the place, so I'm not exactly sure how it will look until it's on. But it's very pretty, very drapey, it's obviously got this slit, so that's the blue. Again, I think the blue is so pretty. And then I got this in the top. I, I feel like they've got it in a dress, but I, I got the top. <laughs> so this one's really cute as well, it's got that sort of drapey handkerchief asymmetric style going on with the frilly bit on one sleeve and nothing on this sleeve but it does have a little tie it's got a slight floral print on it it's a lovely lemon color all my favorite pastels and that one is 14 pounds few more bits to go so i did grab this again from the rita aura collection this is the last piece i believe this was 26 pounds and i feel like this is going to be the thing that does not suit me um this is too big anyway i'm not sure if i've picked up the right size but i probably will need to return this but it's like a um a tie-up denim jacket which I thought was really cool I don't know if on the website they've called it a kimono jacket but it just looked a bit unusual and I thought it was nice but yeah looking at it now I just think it's gonna be too big on me and I'm not sure if the oversized vibes will work with that so we'll see I've got a little set of pajamas which as soon as I saw I just had to grab because they're so me um, look how pretty these are Oh, I just love that um, pattern. So I got the trousers. They're sort of like a waffle weave material. The trousers are £12. I got the little top, which is cropped. Um, that was £7. Obviously, same print, same material. And then they do it in the shorts as well, which are £8. So their PJs have definitely gone up in price. But I thought it would be nice to get the set because the shorts will be nice as it gets warmer. And then I was looking at this little outfit on the mannequin. Elliot Blessing was actually trying to help me find it and we picked the outfit up in two different stores. So I found this little bodysuit in one, which is really nice. I haven't got much lilac stuff at the moment, but I really love this colour. I need to wear it more, but it's not as, you don't see it as much. You did last year, but maybe not this year. Anyway, it was seven pounds. It's a nice ribbed style bodysuit. Again, I've got it in a size two blooming big but anyway it'll be fine um so then I also got to wear over it these shorts which I think I've taken the price off um I've tried these on and the only thing I didn't think about is they are quite see-through which is annoying but I'm sure I can wear something underneath them to make them not see-through so I got the shorts and then even though they're in a different section so a little bit hard to track down. I believe this is like the matching hoodie zip up that goes with it. They're exactly the same colour, so it works. So this one, just in case anyone wants the colour, 
is it's classed as white but actually I would say it's cream and this was eight pounds so it's just a nice simple zip up hoodie um, which goes nicely with that little outfit basically I just saw it on a mannequin and I thought it looked really nice and I've been tracking it down so I got that and that concludes the Primark haul. <laughs> Sorry if that was epically long. I hope you enjoyed it being long. Thank you so much for watching and if you got to the end of this video, please leave me a little shopping bag or dress or shoe emoji and a little message in the comments so that I know you are one of the coolest people alive. Also, don't forget to take advantage of that HelloFresh discount code. Like I said, I'll leave the QR code up here and the information on the screen. You can also find the link in my description box below. So please do give it a go if you haven't tried it yet. Honestly, I can't recommend HelloFresh enough. We absolutely love it. Do give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. And I will see you again very soon. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Bye.